guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing another episode of Fossil Friday actually on a Friday this time so I'm quite proud of myself even though I really shouldn't be but um, I hope you're all having a lovely bank holiday weekend even though we can't go away for it. I hope you're still doing something you enjoy at home but I do hope you're all well. So in today's video we're going to be kind of doing a bit of an experiment. We're going to be looking at cleaning up fossils with vinegar. So I've bought a bottle of just distilled malt vinegar, it's all they had at the time. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go with this. So vinegar is acidic, I'll give you guys like a little breakdown of why if you're curious. So yeah, so vinegar is an acid. Fossils, they're normally in a sedimentary rock or a limestone which is made up of calcium carbonate and acid dissolves calcium carbonate. So hopefully I'm going to be dissolving the rock around the fossil and not the fossils in this case. So I'm going to be trying it with just some belemnites and I think there's one ammonite in here and potentially a brachiopod as well. So they're just little fossils. It doesn't matter if it all goes wrong, but it's kind of just like a fun experiment day if you like. So I want to see if it like takes off all the sort of dirt around the belemnites because they are actually crystallized. So in my head I'm thinking these will clean up quite nicely so I'm gonna start off by using a toothbrush with the vinegar and not diluting it at all and seeing if it just fizzes it off um, and then if it doesn't do anything maybe I might try and soak them that type of thing it's just gonna be a bit of an experiment basically because I've never done it before so um yeah and I've got a little tub of water as well just so once I've cleaned the fossil with vinegar I can soak off the vinegar so it doesn't ruin the fossil so that's the plan for today, so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so this is the pot of water, this is the pot of fossils I'm going to be attempting to clean with vinegar, and this is a little tray to put some vinegar in to soak my toothbrush with. So I'm just gonna open the vinegar and just pour it into the lid here. Like that. And I'm just going to soak the bristles of the toothbrush in it so they can hopefully get lots of it. And I think a toothbrush works well at really getting into the little crevices of fossils, even though bedamnites, they're pretty easy to do. I think ammonites would be more interesting. But let's see. So I'm just going to... So there's no fizzing at the moment. So it might be I need a stronger acid maybe or it might be doing something you can kind of see in the tray that stuff's coming off I don't know if you guys can see that it's like clouds of dust so I think it's cleaning it maybe I'll just let it sit there So you can see there is stuff coming off it. This is my first time doing it, so I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's working. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. So it's definitely cleaned off bits of it. Um, so I'm gonna put this one in the water for now to see what it looks like and just soak off the vinegar. But I'm not sure what to expect with this, but I am seeing bits coming off the fossil, so I think it's working. I just think I was expecting more of a fizz. <laughs> with lots of bubbles everywhere. But you can see... It's definitely doing something to them, so I'm actually, I'm going to put a few in here to soak. It might work a bit better. Dun dun dun! Or should I brush an ammonite? So I've got this very kind of dusty ammonite, which it's all there and it's a really nice dactylioceros, but it's just covered in a small layer of what looks to be limestone. So let's see if we can get some of it off. Oh, can you see it fizzing? Like it's fizzing in the center. Well, you can definitely see it working on the ammonite. Can you see all the little bubbles? Let's put it on the other side. Da, da, da. 
Let's make sure it's in focus for you guys. I'm gonna <laughs> Can you guys see this? It's gone through to the underside. But the middle of the Can you guys see that? It's actually made a hole in the middle of the amnite. I guess it wasn't all there. Let me put it in the water. <laughs> it's now got a hole in the middle, so I guess it didn't have a center. But I thought this one did, but it must have not. So I'll leave that one in the vinegar for a little bit to see what else it attacks. But that's quite interesting, actually. So let's take out some of these bellum nights, see what's happening. Da, da, da. This is quite fun, it's definitely doing something to them. I think with bellum nights I should soak them for like a few minutes and it should just lift it. So I'll leave those for a little bit longer. What else do I have in my pot? So this is a brachiopod, so my fingers do have vinegar on them. See if I can make it focus, there you go. This is the brachiopod, so I'm going to pop that in there. Right. Yeah, you can see in this pot how much stuff is coming off of them. It's getting very murky. The hole is just getting bigger. But I guess it's just dissolving what isn't a fossil, hopefully. But we'll put that one in the water now before I dissolve the entire fossil. Mm I think these bellum notes could look really lovely if it focuses without any just be all mineral if I can get all the excess matrix off them so hopefully the vinegar will do the trick but I'm still new to it so I, mean, I think it's doing something to them Like it's definitely cleaning off bits of them um, and it's not attacking the fossils here. You can see, can you see all the mineral rings on this one? Look at those. So it's revealing a lot more detail on the fossils, which is nice. Obviously we did have, I wouldn't say a casualty. I just think it was already missing its center and I just emphasized it by dissolving it. <laughs> but it's good to know. So let's just see what these ones are doing. So this is the brachiopod, it's looking beautiful colours underneath. So this is what it looks like. So I'm not sure how much the vinegar has done to this, but I'm going to put it in the water now, um, just in case I damage it which I don't want to do. And this is another bellum night. Which is looking lovely. Still has some bits on it, but I think they were, they looked like they were on the bellum night before it got fossilized. So they look like they're actually meant to be there. Cause it's actually looking really nice what's left. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, look, I definitely think it's eating away all the limestone. And I'm just being left with the lovely mineralized fossil, which is fabulous. And then this is a really chunky bellum night. I'm just gonna, which I think is cleaning up really nice.
this one might need a soak to get the end to clean up a little bit but overall not bad I'm getting less scared of using vinegar now <laughs> I was always scared of the idea that it would just dissolve my fossils but it's actually it's actually proving to be quite good So I think this one needs to soak in the vinegar for a while, it's quite dirty. Now I wonder, will this one, if it focuses for you? I wonder if it will dissolve this bit here, the bit inside the crack. That's going to be interesting, let's pop it on. But you can see all the worm tubes on it as well. Look at all the worm tubes. So this is quite a nice bellum night. And it doesn't need much clearing up, but hopefully it'll just attack it a little bit. might be dissolving it a tiny bit but it's not obviously eating away at it yet so I'll put it in for a bit longer see how this one's doing so this is how this one looking so you can start to see some really cool colors in the bed of night that I couldn't see before, so they're still not perfectly prepped, but they're better than they were. Pop them all in. We'll just let these ones soak for a few minutes. ones have been in this little pot of vinegar for a while now so I'm just gonna give them a brush and then pop them in the water it might be that they need more than a few minutes for the vinegar to actually take everything off but they definitely look like it was doing something so this is the first one so you can see a lot more of the detailing now that the vinegar has done its work so you can see like the bands here let me actually put you in focus there you go you can see the bands here more clearly now the vinegar's had a go at them so that one looks good let's take this one out So this is what this one looks like now, so it's this one hasn't changed hugely, I thought it might eat what's down here but yeah. So this one hasn't changed hugely but I think it looks, lo you can see the worm tubes really clearly now um, and it's just cleaned it up a bit better than water was doing so yeah. at least it didn't break this bit off, I was worried it was going to dissolve all the rock in here and that bit was just going to snap off so no, I'm happy with how that one's turned out. Dun, dun, dun. So this one's turned out pretty beautiful. 
you can really see the sort of patterns in the bell of night. And then I love this one. This one's like got really clear banding on it, almost stripy. So. So this is what it looks like. So I'll pop that one in the water. I don't know what all that noise was. I think someone's pets were going crazy or something. <laughs> so this is what this one looks like. So not perfect, but it's definitely cleaned something off of it. And you can see this, the vinegar coming off my hands, it's all like sandy. And you can see the colour of it here. It's definitely, definitely done something to them. So I was hoping the vinegar would take all of this off on this one. But it's not done a bad job. You can see the mineralisation a bit more clearly now, I think. Well, that's that one. And the final ones. Put focuses. So this is what this one looks like. So they do look really pretty now. You can really see the colours of them, which is nice. <laughs> They're just really interesting to look at now that you can actually see properly, now that all the dust and the limestone is off them, so yeah, pretty cool. So it's not fully cleaned up, you can see here, there's still, you know, stuff on them, but this side is gorgeous. That's lovely. And then this is the last piece I put in. Just like that. So this is just a lovely little piece. But I think it's cleaned up quite nicely. So I'm just gonna leave these now to soak in here for a little bit. Then I'll dry them and I'll show you guys the finished result. So today's been a lot of fun. I now have a huge urge to try it on some really big fossils and just see what happens but I'm gonna hold off on that and you know keep trying with some little ones experiment with time lengths you know like soaking them overnight or diluting it a little bit and leaving them overnight that type of thing to see what happens and also different types of fossils from different areas see which ones really react the best um, before I go hopping onto the big ones and I'm not gonna do it on any of the ones that I'm really fond of just yet until I know exactly how to do it so the ones I just did with you guys have been soaking in water so I'm now just gonna take them out and dry a few and show you the finished product so this is the first one I think it's turned out beautiful look at the banding on that you can now really see the colors and you know just the beauty of the bellum night rather than all like the dusty and all the excess rock around it so I think that one looks lovely and when I wash them with water they turn out nice but they're just I think this just gives them a bit more shine and takes off a little bit more than water would so I like that and then this is a lovely a lovely one as well so it's just kind of cleaned them up a bit um, and maybe if I soak them for longer they'll clean off all the little bits but I'm just a bit scared to do that at this point in time the ammonite was fun <laughs> so let me just dry the ammonite so that one didn't go to plan did it? I generally thought it was a whole ammonite and here we are with an ammonite with a hole in it instead <laughs> like I thought the centre was there but clearly clearly it wasn't or maybe it was and I did just dissolve it but that would be really sad but yeah, this was a lovely Dactylioceros, which as far as I thought was whole. And now it has a hole in it. Maybe I can turn it into a keyring now. It's actually a blessing in disguise. But um, that's that one. So didn't dissolve the whole fossil, but it didn't exactly, <laughs> didn't exactly go to plan. 
And let's take out some more. But definitely on bellum nights, it's worked a treat. Like I think these have turned out really lovely. You can really see, see them now, which is nice. They're fun to look at. Some of them are a little bit better than others. Like this one still has stuff on it, but it makes me think that maybe that, you know, is part of the fossil. Or maybe those ones need longer to soak. There's probably a few factors. So this is the one with all the worm tubes on. I think it's turned out really lovely as well. I like being able to look at all the worm tubes. Pretty cool. So yeah, so I thought it might, you know, dissolve these bits on it here, but again, they're probably already on it, if that makes sense. That's why they're sticking. It might also be that they're not calcium carbonate. Dun, dun, dun. So this is a big one here, but you can again see the lovely banding going on. And you can really see the mineral rings there. It's so cool. So I, I, I'm going to say this has been a success, maybe. It's definitely not been a disaster. You know, it would have been really funny if I just plunked them all in and they all just dissolved. But luckily we were smarter than that. <laughs> and then this is a big chunk of one. I'd love to find a massive bellum knight, like all in one piece. That'd be cool. That would be cool. So this is another chunk. I like the end of this one. You can really see in. But it didn't clean up as nice as I was hoping, but it nice enough. I still like it. Now let's look at the brachiopod. So I'm not sure if this one... I think it reacted well. You can definitely see the colours on it beautifully now. Like, look at, look at that. It's got like reds and oranges in. I don't think I've dissolved it at all. It's still got all its ribbing. It's a good sign. So I think that one also enjoyed the vinegar, maybe. <laughs> I definitely think I'm going to need to do some more trial and error with this before I'm before I'm a vinegar pro, but no, it's definitely been interesting to do, like it's definitely cleaned them up, I think anyway, like I think they look, look pretty snazzy now. I'm just going to take all these ones out, is that the last of it? I think that's the last of it, so let's just dry them up. Yeah, they just, they just look cleaner now, so I think it's worked. I think. So, yeah, so vinegar is definitely another way of cleaning fossils, and better than just throwing water on them, I think. So, especially for bellum nights. I'm definitely, definitely going to use this more often, I think. Let's see if it focuses for you. Like, you can s look at all the banding in that. I just think they're really interesting to look at now. Like, I don't know much about Bellum Knights, but it's something I want to dive into a bit more, so I'll do some reading up on them. Focus on the Zabellum Knight. Not my face. There you go. Yeah, you can see all the detailing in them now. Fabulous. All right, well, I think that's all the Bellum Nights I'm gonna do today. I just wanted to give this a try. Um, I think Ammonites I need to look into a bit more um, to try and not do that again. But it might be that that was already there and the middle was just mud or just calcium carbonate, which is why it's like, Actually, Emma, this wasn't a complete fossil, hence why it dissolved. Because the rest of it hasn't dissolved. But I'm not sure. You know what? I'm going to drop this in the vinegar and just leave it. And I'm going to pour some more on it. Okay, I'm going to leave that it's bubbling away so I'm gonna leave that for like 10 minutes 
that's a long time I haven't left any of these in for 10 minutes and see if I still have a fossil just out of curiosity like I've kind of already sacrificed that one so I might as well sacrifice it a bit more in the name of science but um yeah so I will show at the end of this video the result of the ammonite but I'll conclude here so I hope you guys enjoyed playing around with vinegar with me um give it a go yourself if you have any fossils that you think might work well but do try it on ones you're not too bothered about first um just because you really never know and you know you might want to dilute it first i just went in straight with you know 100 percent vinegar but um it's definitely definitely done the job this was this was fun to do so i will do a few more videos like this let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to test it on how you'd like me to test it on or if you've got any advice on how i should be doing it um and i think i'm going to leave some to soak and just play around a little bit but um yeah i hope you're all well enjoy your bank holiday weekend thank you so much for watching like and subscribe for more if you're on instagram i'll link my down below if you'd like to check that out but um yeah thank you so much for watching and i really hope you enjoyed it's kind of made like a bubbling halo around the ammonite it's definitely doing something still so i'm gonna wait until the bubbles stop that'll either mean it's done or the ammonite is gone <laughs> so um yeah i'm just gonna oh even bigger bubbles now i'm getting worried i don't know if there's gonna be a fossil left after this but this is kind of this is intriguing okay i'm gonna i'm gonna stab it with a brush now i mean it's still there so it's really bubbling away still so i'm gonna let it be and take it out in another five minutes i think um, just because it's definitely still doing summon. I love the halo it's making around the ammonite. God, I'm so curious. I wonder what it's going to look like. Will there be an ammonite left? So, I mean, there's something still in here. It generally doesn't look any different. <laughs> it's been in there for like 15 minutes. I guess it, although it was just eating away any excess. I, I think the ribbing is a bit clearer now. What do you guys think? <laughs> the hole has definitely got a little bit bigger, but it isn't eating the fossil. It must have only been eating the centre bit that wasn't actually, I think the ammonite was missing its centre. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We can just give it a wash. Definitely interesting to see just how much the vinegar was working on it and how little change there is, but I guess I guess it was doing little jobs. So there you have it. Ta-da! I know I've already said bye and concluded this video, but I just thought I'd say bye again. I just really wanted to show you guys what would happen to the ammonite if I left it in for 15 minutes. And unfortunately, not much, but it was fun to fun to try. And I do actually think it's kind of come out... The ribbing is a lot clearer. Sorry, I'm holding my camera, so this is a bit tricky. I think it ha it is clearing it up, so maybe it needs longer. So I might do another experiment and just leave that in overnight. We'll see and see if it comes out crystal clean but um yeah hope you all enjoy your bank holiday weekend i hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe bye thanks for watching